The suit alleges that President Trump is flagrantly violating the Constitution, which explicitly bars presidents from receiving gifts or inducements from foreign or domestic government entities. Never in the history of this country have we had a president with these kinds of extensive business entanglements, or a president who refused to adequately distance themselves from their holdings. President Trump's businesses and his dealings violate the Constitution's anti-corruption provisions, known as the emoluments clauses. The framers included these two anti-corruption provisions to prevent foreign and domestic entities from seeking to influence the president by bestowing money or other things of value on him. Why did the framers include these clauses? It was all about corruption. As Alexander Hamilton wrote, one of the weak sides of republics among their numerous advantages is that they afford too easy an inlet to foreign corruption. The framers knew that government entities, foreign and domestic, would of course try to use things of value to influence or induce the president to do their bidding instead of that of the American people. And now we see it every day. My office window is just a few floors above where we're sitting today, and I can tell you that as I look out the window and see the tower of the Trump International Hotel, we know exactly what's going on every single day. We know that foreign governments are spending money there in order to curry favor with the President of the United States. Just one example, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, whose government has important business and policy before the President of the United States, has already spent hundreds of thousands of dollars at the Trump International Hotel. And that hotel is but one example of how President Trump's vast global businesses and that empire he has is entangled with foreign and state government interest. We are a nation of laws, and no one, including the President of the United States, is above the law. No one, not even the President, can be allowed to endanger our democracy and erode our faith in our institutions. 